So here's my new Epic Blockchain SC200. This is a crawl space in my basement in my laundry room. And to this miner, I have connected a smart switch. And this is actually a 240 volt switch that I hooked up. Loud. Actually, the, the loudest thing here is the power supply. I'm using the Alpha Miner 2400 watt power supply. It's obviously way too powerful for this miner, but uh, it's the only thing I had in my basement here. So here I'm using my smart switch through uh, smart things, and I have the AOTech heavy duty 240 volt smart switch, and I can measure how many watts I'm using, and I can even turn the miner on and off remotely if I need to. And as you can see, it's using around 971 watts in efficiency mode. So right here is my Luxor mining pool. You can see the workers right now. This SC200 is mining at 1.73 terahash. And then if I open up the uh, epic dashboard it's called instead of going to the actual ip address in a browser uh, you would open up this epic dashboard they provide it's a piece of software you install on your linux or mac or windows otherwise if you're really techy you can do it by uh, command line and so this is the dashboard here this is saying that it's actually hashing at 1.58 uh, luxor is telling me that it's hashing at 1.73 in the last 24 hours you can see it's it's been averaging out on the epic dashboard software um, there's some pool settings and different operating mode normal and efficiency depending on if you want to get as much bang for your buck or if you want to save on power so one interesting thing about this miner is that i actually had to take an sd card and i had to attach it to my computer I had to download the firmware uh, from the Epic website, flash that SD card, and then um, put that SD card into the miner so it can boot up. I guess that's just a, a time-saving or maybe a cost-saving thing that they do um, just because they, they only really produce these in small quantities, uh, small batches, and if they were gonna automate all this um, in their warehouse, you know, there's some processes that they'd have to put into place to do that. Normally with an ASIC, it comes with the, the firmware pre-installed and, and there's not much to do except for just change the pool. But like I said, with, with the Epic uh, SC200, um, you can't actually go to the miner itself. Uh, so for example, if I went to 86, it just can't be reached. So the only way to actually get into it is maybe via the, the terminal or uh, via this Epic dashboard software. But overall, um, I've been happy with uh, this miner and um, it was fairly easy to get set up.